Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to another episode of Slay the Spire. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. I think this is going to be the last episode of Slay the Spire, and we're going to finish it off with a daily. So, let's see. Ironclad run, lots of high scores. Cursed run. And card rewards only contain two cards. Okay. We'll give it a go. I'm, I'm down. Uh, but I think this is going to be the last episode of Slay the Spire. I've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but I think it's uh, I think it's time to look for some new stuff. We do start with Cursed Key, which is pretty awesome because that means we've got uh, four energy right off the bat. So I think that's going to give us a leg up on fighting some of these elites. We want to fight as many elites as possible. And we want to hit as many question marks and campfires and stuff like that as possible as well. So if we go this way, we can fight two. If we go this way, we can fight three elites. But then we only get one campfire, which is a little scary. Well, two, if, including the one right before here. But let's let's give it a try. Let's start here. We'll hit some question marks. We'll hit some elites. I think with four energy, we have a, a fairly decent chance. Um, we'll go distraction. Uh, let's play burning pact. Exhaust acrobatics. We only get three block. And we don't recover health at all. So I think we're going to go Bash Strike. Maybe we misplayed this. Maybe we should have played uh, our uh, Acrobatics card instead. Uh, but we'll go Bash Strike. Dude's dead. Piece of cake. We get an Energy Potion. Um, I'll take a True Grit. Upgrade two random cards. Sure. Bash and Strike. A, a decent upgrade. Although, we gotta remember, we don't recover. Like, I keep thinking, oh yeah, we'll just recover some stuff, no problem. Uh, play Warcry, what do we got? We got 10 damage coming in, so we don't need another defend. Let's just play both defends and smack this one. Maybe we should have hit the other one instead, but either way. Uh, so you're dead, and then we'll bash ya. And then strike, and we win. I don't think we need another True Grit. Receive Golden Idol. Uh, I'll take another curse, since that gives me plus one strength. And more max HP. So there's some benefits there. Uh, we will bash. We will strike. And then I'll play True Grit, which will ex uh, essentially exhaust the defend from our deck. Um, hmm. Let's go Acrobatics. Get rid of Distraction. We'll strike. And then we can just kill you. Nice. Um, an Iron Wave is tempting. Pommel Strike is also fairly tempting. I think we take Iron Wave. And then we'll fight this Elite. So it's Lagavulin. Thankfully, Bash got upgraded for us. So we're just going to bash him and hit him as hard as we can. I think that's worthwhile. Uh, play Acrobatics. We're going to Strike. And then I think... We will play True Grit and play a Defend. Block as much of this incoming damage as possible. We could have played our Energy Potion there to recover some of it, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, we're going to Bash. We're going to Strike. We're going to Defend. We're taking a little more damage here than I would like, but um, let's see what we draw. I mean, we got three attacks, so I think we just go for it. And he's probably dead next turn. We're hoping. He's definitely dead. Okay. So, Courier. Merchant no longer runs out of potions. That that goes well with Golden Idol. Um, A Flex, I think, is unnecessary. And Rage, I think, is just not a very good card. So, let's upgrade. And I think we want to upgrade True Grit. So that we can choose what card gets exhausted. And this is kind of a horrible turn. Honestly, like, we need better than this by a lot. So give me a distraction. All right, we got spot weakness, so that gives us more strength. So now we can kill this guy. And then I'm almost tempted to take our energy potion, but I mean, basically, we'd be taking an energy potion to, to prevent four damage, and that just seems like, eh. Maybe not the best course of action. So let's bash this guy, hit him with an iron wave, and then let's hit the uh, the shield boy. We block all the damage. 
we're going to iron wave you so you're dead and then strike strike defend he's probably dead next turn assuming we don't uh get hit here yeah there we go um again i don't think any of these are what we're looking for so we added another curse that's more strength art of war is okay so our deck is unfortunately filling up with curses, which is not very good, but uh, I think we're going to go Iron Wave, Strike, Strike, and then I think we'll take one damage to not become frail, basically. So True Grit, get rid of Regret, attack. That went fairly well, and you're dead. Armaments, sure. Then we'll fight this elite right here. This is a nasty elite. <laughs> this is real bad, actually. Um, this is a horrible first turn. That's real unfortunate. And in fact, we probably should have played some of those other cards, but let's bash him. Let's strike him. Strike him again. Make him weak. And end the turn. We're gonna take 10 here. And then I think you go strike, strike. True Grit, exhaust that, and then end the turn. So we block all the damage, and then we can kill him with a couple of strikes. And we get Question Card. So that actually basically takes care of Binary, because now we'll get three cards. I didn't know. I thought that was a boss relic only. That's pretty sweet. Uh, why did we not get... Does Binary not work with... Uh, like, does Question Card not... It seems like... Or maybe question card just doesn't work on the first time? I, I don't know. Either way. Uh, give me an acrobatic. See what we get. Get rid of that. I mean, armaments. Let's upgrade a strike. Strike him. Play a defense so we take no damage. We have an explosive potion that we can use. I'm going to play True Grit to get rid of distraction. Strike. Uh, exhaust to defend. And here... This is our turn. Right here. Nice. Flame Barrier, I will take. It's a good card. Anchor, okay. We got another curse in our deck, so we're up to three strength, basically. Uh, this is, like, the perfect opportunity to use that. And then let's play Armaments and upgrade Flame Barrier. And then we'll strike the one in front. We'll play Acrobatics, discard this, and then I guess we just play a basic Defend. Trying to get through our deck, basically. Having three strength at the start of every combat is pretty good. Uh, play True Grit, get rid of Decay. And then we cannot quite kill that guy, but we can come close and we take no damage. So. It's okay so far. We don't want to waste a bash on this guy, so let's just strike him. And then we could play... Well, hmm, maybe that wasn't the right call. Tell you what, we're going to drink our energy potion here so we can finish this guy off. We'll play this. Power through does not help us, so we're not going to play it. Wow, that's a terrible hand, but at least <laughs> we drew flame barrier, so we take no damage from him. But still, that's a pretty bad hand. Uh, we don't need defense, so let's just kill him there we go we get blue candle that's so good uh and then i think we skip these here i th well who's our boss champion guy could we get away with upgrading something i think we can i might regret this this might be a very foolish decision but we're gonna try so play our curses get them out of our deck Play Acrobatics, get rid of Defend, play Bash, and then Strike. So next turn, he's going to get ready to do his big nasty attack, but all we need to do is hit him like once, and then he's basically dead. We can do a little bit of extra damage, and really it's just a matter of making sure that we balance our good cards and our bad cards. Blue Candle is so good with our current setup, though. Uh, play Acrobatics. 
We definitely need a little bit more defend here. So I'm going to play armaments. He's hitting for what? 16? Let's play this. We'll play a defend. And then I'm tempted to just exhaust a strike, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. That way we take no damage and we can still hit him once. And then he's going to go back into this form. And now he wants to hit for 20. That's a lot. So we'll go here. We'll go here. And then... Let's play True Grit and exhaust another regular defend. There we go. So now... What do we have in here? Basically everything here is upgraded. So I think we're going to go... Acrobatics... Discard True Grit, play Armaments, and then let's bash him. And next turn again, like all we need to do is hit him. And he switches back into that form. So that's all good. I don't think I want to exhaust any more regular defense. I want to make sure I have defense when I need them. Uh, so let's go here. That gives us a little block. And then we'll throw up an Acrobatics, discard this true grit and then I think we go another defend and I'll do uh, I'll, I'll take two damage to deal 18 that's fine okay now flame barrier for sure he's hitting for 16 so we're now blocking all of his damage we can strike him once and then throw up armaments and still take none. He'll also take 12 for attacking us. And then I think you go... He's hitting for 20. That's quite a lot. So let's go acrobatics. Discard... This true grit. Play armaments. So we upgrade this one instead. Play this defend play that and then we block all the damage good 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 and now we want to go strike strike iron wave and it doesn't matter because he's not attacking we need to hit him for 18 this turn I think we can do it we definitely can do it very nice so we actually managed to make it through without resting I'm very happy so play flame barrier Hit him with a bash. And he kills himself on our flame barrier. Nice. That worked super well. Uh, so bludgeon, offering, or fiend fire? Um, I mean, we don't really have any sort of, like, super hard-hitting attack here. So bludgeon might be the way to go. Offering's real good, though. Like, offering is just always good. I think we're going to go Offering. And then Sozu. You got to go Sozu. Absolutely. So we're now 5 energy per turn. I mean, right now our killing power essentially comes from uh, using basic attacks, but using a lot of them. And I think that's okay. So let's see. I like a late shop. We got a couple options here. Looks like basically no matter what way we go... We're going to have the opportunity to fight two elites. So what way gives us more questions? Definitely this way. And then we have an early shop, which is fine because we got like 444 gold, which is just a lot of gold. Uh, so get rid of doubt. Give me distraction. Double tap. Smack you twice. Play this defend. Play that. And end the turn. We're going to get hit for five. But that's not bad. Okay, so. Iron Wave. Strike, strike. Blade Barrier. So we got one dead. Now we need to kill this one. So, uh, play Offering first. Followed by Acrobatics. Get rid of... Uh, this one, I guess. Play Armaments to upgrade everything. Bash him. Strike. We're not going to be able... Oh, yeah, we, we could totally kill him. All right, cool. There we go. 
A cleave is kind of tempting, honestly, just so we have some way to hit multiple enemies at once. So I think we're going to take it. Heal 34 HP or choose one of 20 cards. I'm going to choose one of 20 cards and hope we get something here that's real good. Um, Not really a whole lot of stuff here that's real good. Twin Strike, though. With four strength, that's 18 damage for one energy. Rampage is pretty decent, too, though, when you get it going. I think we'll go Twin Strike. That seems like a good option. So, Shop... Oh, Dead Branch. Dude, corruption has shown up so many times. Uh, let's go Twin Strike. Let's go Card Removal. Get rid of... I mean, with Blue Candle, it's okay to have these curses. Like, honestly, I'm thinking of getting rid of, like... Let's get rid of a Basic Defend. I think that's fine. And then... I don't think we really care about much of this other stuff... Zero cost card draw could be pretty good. We don't really have powers. I think we'll take finesse. Oh, that's right. Uh, we have the courier, so this is all reduced in price and it never runs out. I really dislike dead branch. <laughs> Unless you have corruption to go with it. So I don't think we're going to take it. And all of these relics, I think, are pretty bad. Well, you know what? Blood vial for 120 keep our HP up there a little bit? Sure. And Juzu Bracelet actually is fine. We'll do that. All right. Let's keep going here. So I think you start with an offering. See what you get. Uh, then we go Bash. Play Distraction. Spot Weakness. Well, it's nice to have it in the deck, but uh, it doesn't really help us out too much right now. Let's do that. Play this. There we go. Okay. So, Finesse, we drew a curse. So, <laughs> Strike, uh, get rid of that. We can't, well, I could kill him with an explosive potion, but that's just such a waste of an explosive potion. Like, that's just not a good play. We'll do it this way. There we go, he's dead. Um, Berserk actually could be okay for more, even more energy. Yeah, you know what? Let's take it. Let's take Berserk. Remove all strikes, obtain five bites. Oh, we can do that by losing... Ooh. But then we would lose Blood Vial. I mean, we only have one of these strikes upgraded. The, the benefit there would be we wouldn't lose all of our HP. Let's do it. Let's do that. I think that's worth it. Because uh, the bites actually do more damage than basic strikes. And they heal you for two. So, like, that seems just really good. So we lost Blood Vial because of it, but, like, whatever. Uh, so go True Grit. Get rid of the curse. Kill this guy. Play Distraction, see what we get. We got to shrug it off. And we drew into Flame Barrier. There we go. Now we're talking. There we go. Okay. Uh, play Offering. Play... Acrobatics. Discard the Curse. Play Finesse. See what we draw. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a little bit of stuff going here. So start with a Cleave. And then I think you go with a... Bite on you. We got four energy left. So let's just wail on this guy. And we did some decent damage there. Not bad. Okay. Um, armaments. Bite. Heal me a little bit. Throw out one block. Play that. Smack you again. We're going to take a fairly nasty hit here, but we can heal. Now that we have vampire. Uh, vampirism or whatever. I really should have bashed first. That was so incredibly stupid of me. We'll do it this way. But we should just be able to kill the gremlin leader here. So let's do that. There we go. We heal a little bit. These guys run away. All is well. And we get strawberry, which upgrades our max HP. Okay. Uh, sword boomerang. All the way. Like in a strength deck? That's just so good. Uh, and I'll take a relic for cheap. Dig. Interesting. I think we definitely want to hit some campfires. So let's hit this one. 
and I th I'm really tempted to upgrade Sword Boomerang. I think that's what we're gonna do. Rather than digging for another relic, I think this is the way to go. Bag of Preparation. Okay, we draw an extra two cards. What is this? Gain one... Intan... So lose 50... Oh! Intangible is... Ooh. Wow. That's... Interesting. Like, intangible means that you take one damage from everything? But 50% of your max HP. That would get us down to, like, what, 60... 60... Eh, 50-something. 50 58 HP, something like that. That's... Ah. Like, that's cool, but it's also gonna feel... We're gonna gain five of these. It's not gonna take anything out of our deck. Like, and they're ethereal, so if we draw more than one on the same turn, like, we can't play it. I, I'm gonna say no. It's an interesting thing. Remove all curses. I mean... One, two, three, four, five cur... You know what? I'm gonna say no, because, uh, like, curses... It's cool and all, because at the moment with this cursed deck, like, that's five strength. If I got rid of them, I'd be losing five strength per turn. So give me an, uh, let's start with an offering. Play Doubt. We did not draw Bash. So give me a distraction. We drew another offering. Okay. So play Flame Barrier. And then we go for a Sword Boomerang and a Twin Strike. And then we bite him. And we bite him again. And we Iron Wave. And we cleave. And he hurts himself. Play Finesse, see what we get. So play True Grit. Discard that. Bite. And you might as well play Berserk. So now we get hit a little bit, but that's okay. Upgrade. Bite. Um... I mean, we would lose... To, this dude's, like, dead. He's definitely dead next turn. Uh, if only I could do two damage to him and kill him with the explosive potion. Because now I'm going to take, like, 16 damage because I couldn't kill him quite fast enough. But he's dead. We got Gambling Chip, which is real good. Uh, I don't think we want any of that. Let's see what we got here. So, what do we want to discard? I think we want to discard Distraction. Defend, defend. Confirm. See what we uh, get in its place. Okay. Start by discarding Decay. Play Offering. See what we get. Play Finesse. We got Sword Boomerang. So I think you bash this guy. Play Sword Boomerang. This guy's almost dead. In fact, he is dead. So bite him. And then I think you go for a Twin Strike on this dude. And another bite. And an Iron Wave. And we didn't quite kill them both, but we did some work. There we go. Uh, I will play this because one week is just super annoying. And we've taken some hits here, but we're doing okay. I would love to get, like, uh, something that allows us to heal consistently. Dual wield upgraded is pretty tempting. Create two copies of an attacker power card in your hand. I mean... On the flip side of that, I don't really have any zero-cost attacks. I think we're just going to skip those as well. I love that it seems like we're always starting with offering. And honestly, like, I'm okay with this hand. So let's go with a bash to start with. Finesse. Play armaments. <laughs> that was lovely. Uh, Play decay just to get it gone. And then I think you want to go Twin Strike. And then I think we go Bite. Bite. He's got seven block. He's dead. There we go. Pummel is also very tempting. In fact, yeah, we're totally doing Pummel. Because we have a strength right off the bat. So we're good there. Who's this boss? The Collector? Uh, I think we're going to rest. 
Gonna give ourselves a little bit of HP back as a buffer. Okay. Um, honestly, like, I'm I'm kind of liking the idea of just playing all of these curses right off the bat to get them out of our rotation. So let's discard those. We drew armaments. Okay. So play these. Play that. Play Berserk. And we'll do some damage. So not an amazing first turn, but not horrendous either. Play True Grit to get rid of the curse. Then I think you... We want to kill the minions before they become a problem for us. So let's gang up on the minions for now. Okay. Um, start with draw. There we go. Uh, we'll play the cleave. We'll go... Twin strike on you, bash on you, I guess. We'll do it that way. This guy's now vulnerable, so let's go armaments. Smack you real hard, since that's a lot of damage. And then we'll go block, block, and we'll bite you. Basically, we just need to make sure that the minions don't get, like, out of control on us. So start with draw. Um, I hate being weak. That stinks. So we'll go bite, bite. And then I think we'll go... Wow, you're hitting for 31. And I can put up, a like, barely any block. That's real unfortunate. We're going to use our explosive potion right here. We're going to take a real nasty hit. Okay, so cleave first. Follow that up with a sword boomerang. And a twin strike. And a bite. And then a flame barrier. We're doing okay. It could be worse. Uh, see what we get for card draw here. He's not vulnerable anymore. Uh, see what we get from distraction. We got entrench. Well, that didn't help us at all. Uh, so I guess we'll just do it this way. And then, like, do that and get rid of a defend. We probably should have just uh, gotten rid of uh, Entrench, honestly, but whatever. So play this. Since we have enough block, let's just go on this guy. And we'll let the minions kind of not do a whole lot here. Okay, armaments, cleave. Now these guys are hitting fairly hard, so... Let's kill the minions. Because we got a lot of incoming damage. And then hopefully, right here, we can bash, we can sword boomerang. Yeah, well, there we go. He's dead. And now I think... Uh, honestly, they'll, like, immolate? Deal 10 damage to all enemies whenever there's a curse? With as many curses as we have in our deck? Like, that's... I think worthwhile. You know what? Sure. Start me with six energy every turn. Why not? We'll add a couple wounds in. Plus immolate. You know, it works. All right. So you got an elite and a late shop. I like that a lot. And then another elite here or here. So we can go either way. I think we probably want to go like... This. Yeah. That's probably the way to go. All right. Start here. So, let's replace our curses. Okay. Start with a pummel on you for, like, 40 damage. And then we'll do that. And then we'll start working on the next one. And then that's a fair amount of damage. That's not bad. Okay. See what we got here. I mean, offering. You mean armaments? Play that. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of block here, so let's do that to kill you, and then we'll smack you. We only take two damage, which isn't bad. We can heal that back easily, thanks to being a vampire. What's our most annoying curse? Probably. Decay, honestly. Uh, start with the cleave. Play sword boomerang. 
And then we'll play this, because if I don't, it would do three. Unfortunately, we didn't really have a whole lot there that we could attack with. Um, burning Pact. Exhaust the block. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. So we'll do that. He's dead. Twin Strike, you're dead. We made it work. We're going to skip all those. Lose all gold? I don't think so. I'd like to keep my gold. We might want that. So, what do we want to replace? We don't need two curses. So, let's get rid of regret for now. Probably didn't need all these blocks and stuff either, but... Uh, play immolate to exhaust that. And we'll play this. Get rid of a basic defend. Sword boomerang for a ton of damage. Bite. We already have enough block to basically... Uh, block everything thanks to the anchor. So you're just dead. Goodbye. Another pummel? Uh, honestly, though, give me an inflame. Give me more strength. The more the merrier. Unplayable innate. Hmm. Let's do it. Because I've got gambling chips, so I can just get rid of it. So we can say, like, I don't want these in my hand. See what we get instead. Yeah, it's a bit better. So, I think you go acrobatics. Get rid of that. Then you play armaments and inflame. So now we're at 10 strength. Then you go for a sword boomerang. A bite on this one. Play berserk for free. Twin strike on you. Okay. What do we got? Hmm. Not so good. Not so good at all. Okay. So. That would do 30. It'd be 47. So we can't kill this guy no matter what. So I think we go like that. And then like this. And then like that. We're still going to get hit. But it's okay. You're just dead. Goodbye. We don't need any of this. Uh, fight the elite. Okay, strength up. I love having armaments. Uh, let's get rid of those. Ah, I shouldn't have gotten rid of Iron Wave. That was dumb. That's all right, though. Play this. Play this, see what we get. We got power through. So that's a decent source of block. I think we're going to go Flame Barrier, start hitting this guy, hit you. We already have enough block for everything. But we'll play this to just exhaust power through. Because I don't think we want it in our deck. Play that. This is another pretty, like, bad hand. Especially since these guys are getting stronger every turn. Um... And I am one shy of being able to kill you that way. So we're going to do this instead. Uh, we'll just do that. Going to take another big nasty hit. Because of course we are. Play Offering. Pummel's going to hit you real hard. And then we'll finish him. There we go. We get Molten Egg. I have a feeling that's kind of going to be one of those like too little too late sort of things. Um, but with that said, an upgraded clothesline might be uh, worth something here. So let's go this way. Add one colorless card. Add th Let's add three colorless cards to our... Oh, and we get to choose them on top of all that. Very nice. Okay. So uh, Sadistic Nature is pretty sweet. Mind Blast in a 34-card deck is pretty amazing. And Enlightenment? I don't really have that many expensive cards... We'll go Transmutation. Maybe that will be useful. That's, an, that's a, a new one, though. I haven't come across that yet. I would have loved to see Bottle of Lightning earlier. I will totally buy a Shrug It Off for cheap. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Like, we exhaust curses and stuff regularly. So that could actually be pretty good. 
for some extra block. Whenever you apply vulnerable, apply one weak. Also fairly good. I think I want to save most of my money though for a later shop. Like this isn't what we're looking for. Red Skull. Okay, that gives us more strength when we're below 50% HP. I also just realized that I totally went the wrong way. I meant to hit this elite. So we probably should have spent more money at that shop, but it's a little late now. I love getting Mind Blast right off the bat. Um... Like, honestly, this is a decent first hand. Play Shrug It Off, so we draw something. We drew Clothesline. Play this. See what we draw. Distraction. Okay. Go uh, hit him with Mind Blast. I was kind of hoping to, like, draw into a bash, but that's just not happening. So then we want to go... Sword, Boomerang, Clothesline, Make You Weak. Play Distraction, Shockwave. And now he's intangible, which means we can't really hurt him. But I'll play Immolate to get rid of that curse. I'll bite you. I'll bash you. And I mean, I could hit you for five damage with Pummel, but that's just such a waste. All right, now we can hurt him again. So Twin Strike, Twin Strike, you're dead. Frozen Egg. Okay. Uh, heavy Blade, especially an upgraded Heavy Blade. Absolutely. We got Mind Blast. Oh, Mind Blast is innate. That's why. So we're always going to get that right at the beginning. Sweet. So let's uh, just get rid of all of this. See what we draw. I uh, drew a bunch of stuff. Okay. So first of all, give me a Mind Blast on you, followed by an Offering. Then I think you want to go Sadistic Nature. We can kill you with a basic bite. I can kill you with a heavy blade. Then we can go like a bite. I'm almost tempted to play. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's play Transmutation. See what we get here. Swift Strike. So that hit for something. Choose a skill pile from your draw pile and place it in your head. Do I have any skills that I could actually even play? Nothing that would be beneficial because I have no energy. I think we're good. Like, there are good colorless cards and there are bad colorless cards. Uh, that is fine. Okay. Uh, I'll totally take another Inflame for more strength. You know what? Sure. Let's do it. I'm feeling confident. I think we can pull this off. So this is uh, actually perfectly fine for a first turn. So hit this dude for a 41 damage Mind Blast. And you play Acrobatics. Get rid of this curse. You can kill this dude with a Heavy Blade. And then you can... Immolate the curse and throw out a cleave. And then I meant to bite, but okay, it's fine. Either way, that was a super easy fight. You're dead. And we got thread and needle as a result. That was, so that was very worth it. Um, I like uppercut, especially an upgraded uppercut. As for upgrades, what do we want? Sadistic nature? Nah, not so much. I don't have a... There's a lot of, like, pretty bad cards in this deck. <laughs> 15 damage for Immolate? Sure. Let's do that. Probably should have looked to see where our boss is. Yeah, actually, that could come in handy. Enter portal, immediately travel to boss? I'm going to say uh, no, because there's a campfire first. That uh, Why would we not want to hit the campfire? We probably should have just, like, rested and then rested again, but whatever. Okay. So, get rid of the curses, and he's going to get stronger if I play a bunch of powers. So, let's do something like this. Let's Mind Blast you, play a Bite to finish you off. We can do 50 damage with Pummel. Or I could do more if I play this in flame first. 
Play distraction, see what we get. We got another flame barrier, so for free, we're good there. Like, I don't, I'm gonna play, I'll, I'll play my, uh, I'll play my, my whatchamacallits, um, my inflames, but I'm not gonna play sadistic nature or any other powers. So I'll play the ones that give me strength, but that's about it. So then we'll go for a big nasty pummel on him. I'll play another flame barrier, and then we'll just play this to get it out of our deck. I kind of regret adding it, honestly. All right, offering. Okay, this is fine. So Heavy Blade does 69 damage. We'll play our other in flame. So now Heavy Blade's doing 84 damage. That's a lot of damage. So smack you, clothesline on you, iron wave on you, and a bite on you. So this dude's dead. And then I'm just gonna get rid of this curse. So we take a hit. Now we can uppercut. See what we draw. Immolate. Sure. Okay. And we're trying to get him killed as quickly as possible before uh, he starts becoming a problem. And I think, like, you are just dead. Goodbye. Okay, so now he switches to Awakened Form. Uh, we will play that to get it out of our deck. Bite. Bite. Horrible uh, hand to start with, but we're, we're not out of it yet. Acrobatics. There we go. That's a bit better. So get rid of a basic defend. Play this. Discard that. Give me a bash. Give me a cleave. Give me a defend. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Like, could you stop hitting me for absurd amounts of damage, please? Uh, clothesline. Flame Barrier, because we need block at this point, like badly. That hits real hard, and that should just kill you. So we actually came away with the win there, but it was a little scary for a minute. And we got a thousand. That's probably not a very good score in the grand scheme of things, but still, it was a fun daily. We had a good time. Killed champions. We killed how many elites? Three, two, two. So seven elites. All the bosses, light speed, champion, curses, stuffed. Librarian, collector, yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode, and I think this is going to be the last episode of Slay the Spire. I've had a lot of fun with the game. It's been very enjoyable, uh, but I think it's time to move on to new things. So, yeah, there you go. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.